Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A. Well, this is the Applied Practice Paper G. Here we're working on question 1, a statistics definitions question. So before we decorate in the school canteen, the head teacher decided to survey the opinion of staff and students. Explain why the head teacher decided to take a stratified sample of the staff and students. Now what a stratified sample is, is making sure that um, each group of people is proportionally represented in your sample. So because there are going to be probably more students than staff uh, in this school, he's going to want to take more students than staff if he wants an equal ratio um, depending upon the number of staff and students that are in the school. So it'd be unfair to take an equal amount of staff and students in the survey if there are more students in that school. Part B is suggest a suitable sampling frame, well that's just a list of everyone who could be represented in this sample. So it's a list of all the students, staff, students and staff names, so for example the school register. Part C is identify the sampling units, where well, they are each individual element within this uh, sample, within this population, so a sample, uh, a member of staff and students would be the sampling unit there. Okay, there are 250 students and 30 staff at the school. Explain how the head teacher could take a stratified sample of 60. Well, for the students, he's going to want a fraction 250 out of 280 um, of these 60 need to be students. So getting your calculator out and doing 250 divided by 280, that's the proportion that we want of the 60 people, that gives us 53.57, so that approximates to 40, 54 people, 54 students rather. And we can do exactly the same thing for staff as well. The proportion of staff that we want in this sample is 30 out of the 280 out of those 60 people, so from just deducing this from 60, uh, we get 6, not students, 6 staff members. Okay, explain how uh, a problem might arise when the sampling frame, um, when selecting the students and staff, well there may be absences on the day, or there may be people who are missed off of the um, sampling frame, for example staff that are accidentally not added to the staff register when they join the school. Okay, so that's seven marks. Make sure you know your definitions before the applied test, please.